Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. So you may know that I've uh, constructed a flume for a micro hydro project. And um, I've been kind of considering some ideas on how to turn that water into electricity. So one of my ideas is an Archimedes turbine, um, which is basically a farm auger inside of a six inch PVC pipe. I forget the length here, but um, I've been kind of having some difficulties with the um, mounting of the screw. And uh, I figured I'd just kind of show you that today. Maybe you can give me some ideas on what I could do. <clears throat> so I've got a um, flange bearing down here. And I've just taken a T and mounted that uh, flange bearing to the end. But you can see it's not a very fluid spin here. And I think there's a lot of friction in the pipe. So maybe I should take that apart and sand it down. But let me show you the inside of this real quick. So my tripod is at the tiny house. So I'm using an old one here. But, so I've just mounted this with a couple of screws here. Finally got those nuts and bolts off of there. Um, so this flange bearing, you can put um, grease in there and it's got set screws here to uh, get this all set together. So you can see it wants to spin, but I think there's some resistance in the pipe and maybe need to um, shave down some of the auger. Um, and I want to see if there's any flex because this is actually in two parts. So let's see if I can get this off of here. Uh, yeah, so I've trimmed down this, I guess, flouting right here. And it starts right here on the edge of the pipe. So it's not too bad to spin, but yeah, I'm afraid there's going to be some sag in the middle. Let's pull this pipe out and see. This pipe should come off here. It snowed almost four inches last week. My brother-in-law told me about the company that makes these farm augers. I'll put the link to that company in the description. I think it's uh, like Lunel or something like that. I forget. I'll have to look it up for you. All right, so does this thing have... Yeah, it's got flex in the middle there. I should have bought it in one section, but I didn't think about that. So you can see that flex there. It's not much, but it's enough, I think. So what I'm gonna do now is take the sander and grind down some of these edges because I can see where the piece is rubbed on that pipe. So let's do that. So I've got this old belt sander here. I'm just going to use to uh, kind of sand off some of these edges to make sure they're all smooth. So I took both of my flange bearings off and um, realized that I had never put grease in them. So I did that. It's kind of oozing out of this one a little bit. But um, they seem to spin a little bit more freely, I guess. And um, also, uh, this first one here, um, I contacted a friend and asked him a question. This one was off um, by a good bit. So it's lobbing whenever it was on the screw here and he said these are self-leveling 
or you can just take a um, rubber mallet and then tap on it. And um, so I took a level and made sure this was level. Um, so let's put it on here. Uh, I'm using a really old tripod. So um, what you can do is put them on facing each other. And uh, they make a really nice um, connection here. So they're pretty well um, facing the same direction. And watch this. Much better uh, spin. So um, let's connect this thing back together and see what we get. Okay, I just got everything tightened down here, and uh, let's see. Yeah, see it's it spins, but it's not as fluid as it needs to be. I think the problem is the way I have uh, these T's drilled and mounted with the um, flange bearings. I think it's off just enough that it's um, binding. So maybe I should try a different mounting system. What do you think? Um, so this right here, it would be nice because the water would flow out and stay away from the uh, flange bearings a bit. But at the same time, um, it's not really working. So I was thinking maybe like a, a coupling that I could then uh, drill um, like a, a bracket onto to put the flange mount on but what do you think um, just write in the comments and um, we'll see if we can try something I'm Seth Johnson with Land House thanks for watching bye